Today we're going to learn how to delay an animation without using keyframes in Geometry Nodes. So let's see it. Let's get the camera the light because we don't need it. Go to Geometry Nodes and create a new profile and delete this. And let's use, for example, a cube node for this example. So basically what I want is to animate this cube in this axis. We are going to use a set position. Remember, what you're going to learn in this tutorial, you can apply to any animation. It doesn't have to be only in position. So I want to animate this axis. First of all, I need to isolate this axis with combine. And now I can control this axis here. So to animate this constantly without using keyframes, we have to use a scene time. A scene time is just a simple node that uses the information of the time based in seconds or frames to add a value to the input that is connected. So right now we're using seconds. That means that if we press play, every second is going to add one value. So if I set this view, one value is one square, one meter. And if I press play, every second is moving one meter. Maybe you're wondering, okay, but this is in frames. How I can see the seconds? You cannot see the seconds because this works in frames, but you can see more or less when it's one meter, if you move this and the center of the cube is in this line. So you can do it more or less like this, or just if you leave the mouse here, you can see when it's one value. Now right now, for example, in 24. 24 is one value, one meter. So every second is 24 frames, as we can see. And we know this because if you go to the output here, you can see that the frame rate is 24 frames by second. That means that one second is 24 frames. Easy, right? So for example, if we select 60 and we start again, it's going to take 60 frames to move one meter. I'm explaining you this because it's really important if you use seconds to know how many frames it's going to take to do an action. However, we are going to use frames. So let's hide this and let's connect frames. So right now, every frame, if we start, is moving one value, one meter. So if I press play, it's going to move really fast. Because for example, right now, in 20 frames, it moves 20 meters. And I can know it because if I leave the mouse, it says 20. Okay, now you know how the same time works. Now, the real question, how we can delay this? I mean, I want this animation, but for example, I want to delay it 50 frames. So it starts here. So to do this, we need to create a conditional. And we're going to use a math node. Add it here and select greater than. And here we are going to define in which frame, because remember, we are using frames, is going to start. For example, 50. So how this node works? If you leave the mouse, it tells you how it works. This is A and this is B. And it tells you, if A is greater than B, the result will be 1. If not, will be 0. So now the frame is less than 50, so the result is 0. That's why this doesn't move. However, hey, what happened here? After 50, it moved 1 meter. Why? Because A is greater than B. So the result is 1. So it adds one value to Y. And later it doesn't do anything because only give or 0 or 1. Okay, we have a simple conditional. However, how we can say, okay, start at this frame, but please, can you continue moving or do something? So to do this, what we have to do is to apply after this a switch. This one the simple switch. And we are working with float, so we need to select float and add it here. But really important, I'm going to disconnect this. We have to connect it here in switch. A switch, as you can see, this pink color is a boolean. A boolean only have two values, zero and one. It's activated or activated, false or true. So when it's not activated, like right now, it's false, as you can see. And false means zero. And when we connect a switch, so right now, it's true. And when it's true, it's one. So if we connect this here, remember, this gives zero or one. With the result of this, we are saying 
be true or false. So we can say when it's true or false, give these values. For example, I'm going to select in true 5. That means that if this value, remember, these are conditional, so now the frame is not greater than this value. So this is 0. So this is false. So when it falls, it gives this result. But I could say if it's false, give me, I don't know, minus 3. But let's leave it in 0 because it is easier to understand. However, we can say if this is true, then when it's true, give 5. So when this value is greater than this value, this is 1. So 1 is true. So when it's true, it gives this value. So that's why after this frame, it moves 5 meters. Easy, right? Perfect. By the way, I'm going to control this with an integer. And I'm going to add a node that says start animation. So you know that this is the frame that start the animation. Now, OK, we have a conditional, but we don't want just to move 5 meters. We want to start the animation. So what we can do is to make a copy of this and say, look, when this number is greater than the input, instead of be this value, use again a sync time. So please continue moving. And as you can see right now, it disappeared. Why? Because it's really far away. So if I press play, after 50, but it jumps and start moving. But where it goes? Basically, remember, this use the real information of the sync time. So yeah, after 50, it starts the animation, but at the same time, it starts at frame 50. So this value is 50, 51 meters. That's why it starts here. So now the question is, how we can say, OK, we want that, but please, can you start here? So this is really easy. The only thing we have to do is to subtract the same value that we are using. So let's use a math node and select subtract and use the same value. So instead of starting here, as you can see, subtract 50 frames. So now it will start here, as you can see. Look. After 50, start the animation in zero because we are subtracting the same value. So this is like starting in zero. So right now, we just delay an animation 50 frames. And if you change this, really important, for example, maybe I want to start at 20, then you need to change this. If not, it's going to work a bit weird, as you can see. So what you can do basically is just to connect this here. And easy peasy. So right now, the animation starts at 20 frames. But I can say, look, please start at 100 frames. So here, one, two, three. So this is how to delay an animation. As you can see, it's really easy. And remember, you can apply this to any animation. By the way, I just uploaded a new tutorial on my Patreon about how to create this animation and how to loop it. If you're interested, you can watch this tutorial and more tutorials on my Patreon. And now, let's continue. For example, what we can do is, for example, I don't know, let's disconnect this. And for example, change the scale. So right now we are using the output to add a scale here, the size of the cube. So until the frame 100, we don't have any scale, as you can see. But after the frame 100, it starts adding a scale, one value every frame. So we delay this animation. As you can see, we can apply this to any animation. The only thing you need to know is just this simple setup. For example, now let's use a simple rotation. Let's use transform. And let's use, for example, here in rotation, let's isolate this. And I want to apply a rotation, I don't know, maybe in this axis. So let's continue here. So it's going to start a rotation after the frame 100. And it's going really fast because now we are working in radians. By the way, if you want to slow down an animation, what you can do is before this, so after the output, 
add a map node and select divide. So if you divide this, you are going to slow down the animation. As you can see, higher the number, slower it goes. Or you can make it a little faster. And you can apply this to an animation. Remember, if we use, for example, translation like before, and let's come back here. So let's come back to Y like before. But now I'm using this instead of set position. For example, if I mute this, it's going to this velocity. One meter every frame. But if I want to slow down, then I just divide this velocity. And it's going slower. So you can see we have more control. And I can say, hey, please, can you start at 30 frames? Thank you. Can you be a bit faster? So this is how to delay any animation in Geometry Nodes. By the way, in a future tutorial, I'm going to explain how to do this with more instance because it's more complex. Not really complex, but I didn't want to make this tutorial too long. So don't worry, just subscribe to don't lose this tutorial. And if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.